The famous bear attack on Jean Mo. Jean Mo has spent almost half a century hunting in remote areas of Alaska. He is the most knowledgeable person on the subject of what to do when a bear comes after your meal. Jean retraced his steps to show me where he'd had his most recent brush with a bear. Well, what all happened? Let's talk about the tale of Jean Mo here on our channel. In 1999, on November 1st, the world changed. Jean was out in the bush close to Kodiak, Alaska, on a deer hunt. It was almost dusk when he struck it rich after being on the prowl all day. Jean was the victim of another hunter, who was hiding in the surrounding woods and unaware of him. It's hard to see in these woods, so I was bending over to remove the deer's hide when suddenly I heard a resounding raw. To protect himself, Jean had just a knife. Jean explains, the bear was on me and he grabbed me in the arm. He then knocked me to the ground. Despite his best efforts, I was able to keep my feet firmly planted in my massive boots. Because I accidentally knocked him off balance, I ended myself on the ground at this spot. You know what though? Unlike the bear, I was up and about before dawn. Then I took the knife seriously and slashed his throat. He bit me on the leg, but as I sank my teeth into his neck, he let go and I stabbed him in the back. His neck twisted around and he blasted me with blood. Jean realized that he had little chance of survival in a rematch with the bear. In any case, he had hope. As I prayed, Lord, please help me. Lord, I realized that I needed your assistance. I'm in a jam here, please assist me. Prayer was Jean's next action. That prayer provided him with the assurance he needed. The Lord is on my side. I told the bear as I stared at it. When I swung this left fist, he leaped forward to meet it. I smacked the bear so hard in the face that I think I may have broken his nose. After tumbling to the ground, he bounced once before landing face first in some moss, remarks Jean. Is he dead? I asked. So, I limped back to the house to retrieve the weapon. That's when I decided. I had the best shot that bears, too. Jean's left hand was entirely white when he hit the bear, and his right arm was fully drooping, so it was a difficult job. I cried out to God, pleading, please assist me. Assuming we get our way, I'm hitting the beach. I'm not sure I can pull this off, but I'm willing to attempt anything for the Lord. I was curious as to whether or not Jean had considered the possibility that he may perish on that mountain that day, so I asked him. Jean told me predictions are tough. I expected to die three times. God, take me home. If you lack strength, pray, Lord. Give me courage. The first step down was difficult. It was difficult. Coming down that mountain was challenging. I was falling, unsure where the boat was, and perplexed when the sky turned snowy and collapsed. I knew the nearby peak, a fognac. I claimed, I'm perfect. Jean somehow reached the beach. Tom Fralich, an old hunting buddy, was waiting. Tom remembers Jean's pleading. Tom remembers. He says, shoot me. No, we won't do that, I insisted. Tell me by tomorrow, and we can try. Let's bandage him, get him back in the boat, and get help. Gene's injury was 50 kilometers from the nearest radio phone. Locals bandaged Gene and called the Coast Guard, who flew him to the hospital in a helicopter. Gene recovered after two skin grafts, 500 stitches, and a month of therapy. Gene, Tom constructed this arm. Two days later, he said, what medic did this? Another cement finisher. I asked Jean if stretching his arm was hard. No, but I wouldn't tell you if it hurt. The 74-year-old has started playing golf again. Jean, our Lord has a purpose for me, else I wouldn't be here. My hunting and fishing guide since I was 14 is the Lord. With Christ on my side, I've been very blessed. That's all for today. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel.